hope you guys are ready for the World Cup coming for those who are fans of uh, football. Let me know if you can hear me. You can type yes in the chat box or say yes, Rob. We can hear you well. All right. Thanks, Emilia. So, welcome to week 10, and I hope you guys had a great break or rest yesterday. So, we are starting this week on Tuesday, and we are not going to end this week the same way we ended the, like last week. We are going to make sure that we end this week as similar way so we can resume as usual by next week. That's the quickest announcement, which means the submission views are going to be quite similar with the past weeks, like having Saturday as the final day of submission. I guess it's so, um, a new week with a new challenge. I hope you guys are excited. So I'm not sure if today we are going to present uh, from the previous week what, but I guess we, we can see how we can arrange this. So we will start the week with the announcement, of course. Any, any announcement from Emily? Do you have something for us? No, I don't have any announcement. All right. So I guess you guys have gone through probably or have got a notification that we have shared with you to this week's challenge document. The challenge document is in two stores. It means you can access it on 10x platform. If not, there is a backup of Google Drive that we always share with you. So I guess you guys have access by now and have started a skimming or scanning. Here. So how are you guys doing? So we can start with a refresh method from the previous week. And also, how are you guys ready for this week? Your level of optimist as, as usual. So who is ready to start sharing? You can raise your hand if you you are ready to share with us. Otherwise, I will call the call. Mm, let's hear from Margaret. Margaret, how are you doing? Um, hi, I am doing well today. I am excited for this week. Um, I, I don't really have much to share for now. Can you, can you share with us a bit about last week's challenge? How um, did you find it yes. so far? Yeah. Uh, last week's challenge was um, a bit uh, it was interesting at the same time, a bit challenging. Um, I faced a lot of issues on rendering a lot of images on my Jupyter notebook because either it was too big or sometimes uh, the blocks didn't have a uh, it had nothing inside. It was just like a blank picture. And that was on the EDA part. And on, on casual inference, uh, that was a bit tricky for me. Uh, but I still managed to attempt it. I hope that after, in a few weeks, I can still be able to get back to it and complete it after the training. Okay, thanks, yeah. thanks, Margaret. Thanks for sharing. So, I'm uh, curious, curious to know, uh, you know, we have been having a week from Monday to Saturday. So, what's your feedback on like the way this the week was? Start started from Tuesday, then you had a break yesterday on Monday. So, do you think it was a, a great decision? Um, the break was definitely a good decision, uh, but I feel like 
last week really moved very fast. I don't even know how it got to the last minute. And there was a lot of work, um, especially with the profiles, the CV, and also trying to figure out your code. Um, yeah. it, was, it was a bit short. Yeah, I, I think I also like took some time yesterday again and tried to uh, just try and fix some code that did not work. Uh, but yeah, I still got stuck somehow. Okay, thanks for sharing. I hope you got some time yesterday to, to rest. Um, yes, I did. Okay, thanks, Margaret. Thanks. So, let's hear from Nathaniel Masresha. I don't know if I pronounced your, your last name correctly. Nathaniel? Hi, yeah, you pronounced it correctly. All right, thanks. Can you share with us your last week updates and also this week, you know? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, last week was uh, a bit uh, a rushing week because I wasn't able to attend most of the classes due to my internet problem. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, so uh, it was a bit difficult to perform the last part, especially on the logistic optimization part and even in the causal inference part. There were some technical challenges, but somehow, somehow, I managed to submit the uh, tasks. Uh, in time, actually, and it was really uh, a good a good week uh, regarding the profile and the CD building part. Uh, I think I did a good part in those career assignments. Uh, and in this week, uh, I'm pretty optimistic about uh, performing on the all the tasks. That's all. All right. Thanks, Anthony, so for sharing. So I guess, how did you enjoy the, or how did you find the careers exercises? We bring up a CV and also profile, because it's a very vital task that you need to have, because this is something yeah. like you are going to have as materials when you are applying for jobs. How did you find the week? Yes, that, that was really, uh, I don't know how to put it, it was really impressive. Uh, I'm, I'm really grateful that I was exposed to do this challenge because uh, it would be really, uh, you know, what's called uh, most valuable part of your application. You know, the portfolio, showing portfolio is the most valuable part of your application while uh, finding a job. So I found it really interesting and supportive for my career track. Okay, that's nice. So did you manage to skim through to this week's challenge? Uh, no, just... actually, I, ju I just opened the, the challenge document. I'm trying to skim it now. All right, thanks. All right. Thanks for sharing. Johannes? Johan jo Samuel. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so last week was a little bit tough for me. I had a, a problem with my laptop, so I just didn't mostly activate in the stand-ups and also as well as the activities. I was just merely trying to submit what I have in my hand uh but hopefully i will manage to fix it in this week and uh, do my best uh, regarding the non-technical assignments yeah those two i was uh, as i was talking i was having really a bad time with my laptop so i did try to manage to, to do just a little of it but hopefully i will finish it uh, this week and that's it thank you Thanks, Johannes. Thanks for sharing. So, what's your approach to finish the last week's uh, challenge in this week? Yet you have another challenge. 
Do you think it's gonna be for you to handle? Come again, Everest. I said you said you you didn't do much because of like of course a broke of your your laptop, and you, you said you will be able to probably finish it this week, but we know this week you are going to have a new sharp challenge. So do you think it's going to be easy for you to take them in a parallel? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, for most of the the CV and uh, the academic profile, I just I don't have the content, so it's all about mm. just uh, putting it there. But for the technical parts, yeah, I will try to balance. I mean, uh, I will do let's say just today and tomorrow, and uh, I don't know, maybe just what is my sleeping time, and then work on that. All right, thanks. So, I know I know the having CV and profiles ready is very crucial. So you need to make sure that you have them looking outstanding before with the graduation. So keep in mind that even though we are not expecting every perfect work, even you know during the job search phase after graduation, you can still be working on your challenges that you feel like you didn't put much effort into it. So there is always a way to improve after the the graduation. Okay. So because you have sure. a phase where we, we go through job search, improving our CVs, LinkedIn, profiles, improving on challenges, you know. So you, you will yeah. have time. So you can still focus on this week's challenge and there will be also time to improve on your previous weeks. Not yes, yeah. Thank you very much. I see your hand on Nathaniel Marcia. Yeah, uh, I had one question I forgot to ask. Shall I go? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Uh, while preparing the Ten Academy profile in the CV, I was like, I was amazed with the skills I wrote in the CV. Like, oh, can I do this and can I do that? So, I think we should have one session about uh, how to deal with the uh, imposter syndrome. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. so that, yeah, like, like a suggestion for, for, for the career, career team. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, I don't think I'm yeah. the only one who is dealing with this uh, imposter syndrome. So. so it means like you write a skill, but you, you realize you're not sure that if that skill is a drum skill. Exactly, yes. Margaret? Um, I want to support that because I think I also have the same feeling. Um, the CV I wrote and my pre previous CV were very different. Um, and they were very different. And when I looked at it, I was like, huh, this does not really look like me. But OK, I've done a bit of it. But I'm not so very confident about about it mm. so thanks for the suggestion i'm bringing this to our attention i guess so i uh, have already had it so we even though we can't if there is no tutorial about it we can arrange a guest talk about it because we have people like lab experts who can really provide some tips and guidance on this one so I will talk to the careers department to see how we can arrange it. Thanks, guys. So, this is a great idea, actually. So, and thanks, Margaret and Nathaniel. So, let's hear from someone else. Generous? If you are able to speak, please do. Um, hello. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, uh, last week's challenge, uh, I didn't get a lot of time because I was traveling for a family event, but I was able to do my best. The causal inference was my blocker, let me call it that. And um, I was able to try something small and submit it in time. And then for the careers, uh, <laughs> it was a lot. And I don't think I was able to record a video. 
So it's something I'll be working on for this week and onward. And yeah, excited for this week's challenge in Web3. Thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Uh, did, you, did, did you get a chance to skim through the uh, challenge? Not yet, but um, I've seen the document. All right, thanks. So let's just, thanks for sharing, Generous. Let's hear from another person. Kegisti, are you able to speak? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, last week, challenge was uh, big, uh, complex and uh, difficult for me. I was facing some uh, issues with uh, the other next two. Uh, I was struggling with the market, my but last yeah. Sorry, yeah. thank you for cutting you shot. Uh, you're breaking. Uh, I don't know if it's a yeah. problem of your internet. But you can feel free to, to just type your updates on the chat box if you don't have a great internet. So it seems like it's breaking, but feel free to share with us what's up on uh, the chat box. So, sorry for that. Fiseha, good morning. Good morning, uh, Everest. Morning. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm really doing well. Thank you very much. I hope everybody is also doing great. Uh, so uh, regarding last week's challenge, it was a really good challenge but I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. And I, uh, I, I, I really dropped the ball last week. So, but uh, I managed to submit basically uh, not a completed task. Uh, also, I had a good, but I had a good understanding about the whole casual uh, inference uh, mm. idea topic. And I, kind of also uh, researched about the, the logistic optimization based on the given references. Uh, I found it to be a really good and very, very helpful way of understanding any given business in terms of uh, formulating the problems and domain specific uh, objectives by modeling them uh, mathematically. I really uh, I I didn't have any idea of that actual uh, topic prior to this week. I mean, it is really nice to be able to see the uh, the domain specific problems in terms of mathematical uh, equations, I guess. And so that being said, I also did a little bit of visualizations, but as mentioned previously, I also had that the same problem as any as everybody else. Not the, the, the my PC basically uh, was stacking too much when I tried to plot visualizations. So that is uh, all for last week's project. And this week's project, I am. I'm excited as well as, uh, yeah, let's just leave it there. I'm excited and I'm really <laughs> hopeful that I will submit a fully functional and complete project this time. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so I hope you are optimistic for the rest of the, the program. So. Yes, actually, I, I am very optimistic, and uh, let's just let's just say last week was exceptional, even though it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's just let's just say that last week was exceptional, and it was not going to happen again. <laughs> and I'm really optimistic about the coming weeks. I'm really looking forward 
to uh, one of them. Okay, thanks, Fisera. So I hope you also manage the careers exercise very well. Yeah, yes, I actually did, but as I said, not to my full potential, I guess, because um, I know there was some things I could have done to make this uh, career tasks also better. And I really feel there's something uh, I was not doing, you know, in a perfect manner. But yeah, that will be really improved in the coming weeks also. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Dex, yes. let's hear from another person. Hi, um, Mika. Are you able to share with us? Hi, Michael, or hi, Mika. Sorry, this the name seems to be hard for me. Yeah, yeah. I let me care. Okay. Okay. Uh, Will you share with us? Yes, yes. Uh, last week uh, was a bit difficult for me. Uh, I took too much time to understand uh, the concepts, and uh, when I try to to get insights from the data. Uh, Think the data was not good enough and I didn't get uh, too much insights and I killed most of my time on the EDA part uh, and I started the uh, causal inference and uh, the optimization part uh, on Saturday uh, and I didn't do too much uh, on that part but uh, the challenge was interesting uh, and uh, I enjoyed, enjoyed it, and I hope I will get back and complete the project after uh, the end of this program. Uh, and in the career part, uh, I prepared uh, my CV and uh, the Ten Academy profile. Uh, it was it was it was good, and I did I didn't know I had uh, I had experienced uh, like this much skills uh, in these three months so it was it was a good week thanks thanks for sharing how excited are you for this week or tell, tell us if you have managed to to go through the challenge a bit yes uh, I managed to look at the, ch the challenge document it's it's interesting uh, and I think uh, it's it's a little bit wide it looks like that but it's interesting I hope I will enjoy working on that okay did you have time to rest yesterday because why am I asking this this to you guys it seems like yesterday um, many many trainees or many people continued working on uh, uh, week nine challenge but i want to i want to make sure that you guys have really refreshed and are ready to to go on with this week with fresh energy so uh -oh. it seems like some people were doing something yesterday yes it was a day of a break yeah uh actually to be honest i was uh, completing the in academy profile page uh, in the morning uh, but mm -hmm. I rested uh, the rest of the time and I slept well yesterday night. Nice. Seems you're ready for this week. Yes, yes. I'm right. ready. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. So let's hear from Nia Mukiza. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes. Uh, Morning, Neil Mutiza. You can go ahead, please. Morning. 
morning. Okay, I was I was on mute. I was saying that last week uh, challenge was interesting to me because it was uh, a real uh, project on real data. Uh, yes, it was a bit challenging because uh, I spent too much time on trying to understand the data, trying to do EDA, and um, I couldn't do much about the causal inference because I also had to read about it. It was my first time to work on causal inference. Uh, for the optimization part, uh, uh, I didn't have time have time to uh, to write those fun uh, equations, but uh, I I just wrote words, not equations. So I'm planning to continue to work on that. Okay, thanks. Uh, did you manage to to work on your season and portfolio? Oh yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did submit the, the portfolio on CV, although I have to send many things about my CV. There is some issues. I got the review about this, uh, the CV yesterday. They, told, they, they sent me some parts that I want to improve. So I will start improving on those parts. Great. Uh, thanks. Uh, looking forward to the improvement of it. So, you know, CV is your greatest uh, weapon. So, yeah. Um, so you need to make sure that you are ready for read and you have it very organized and well done. So, yeah. please, please do apply the feedback you get from tutors. Yes. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. So, let's hear from Adijat. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My my week was, uh, was kind of okay, I guess. I I at the uh, it was it was interesting doing dealing with uh, real data in a real company. I uh, kind of <laughs> no, but also I I I had challenges, and one of the challenges was uh, was the data, was the difference in this and data and some column that uh, that uh, for example the created that and updated that kind of of no values which is very important but all the way it was okay okay thanks how how about this week did you have a chance to go through the challenge or skim through uh yeah i'm halfway through the challenge documents but uh, i have not read i have not read any listed external links on the document so I tend to I tend to do that later. Okay. Then how about the careers exercise C V and also profile? Ah uh, that was Good. because it was there was a lot. I couldn't keep up with that one. But mm -hmm. I reached out to I reached out to Sadiq and and told him that I'll be doing that today. So I guess I'll be doing that in between the tutorial. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, please do work on them because they are going to be your materials, and make sure to, that you do them with in an outstanding way, so you can, yeah. you know, whenever you apply for any jobs after the graduation, so uh, people will get impressed with your CV and also profile. That's the weapon for you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. So, I saw your debate. Hi, okay. Everest. Sorry. 
sorry that I had, I was just basically in a very unexpected meeting that I had to attend and at the last notice. So, but thanks for um, yeah, taking over. And I think what, what I would have liked, I mean, you asked me a question and hopefully you told them maybe, but I would like, of course, you know, today is Monday for us, right? It's just, yeah. even if it's Tuesday, um, and we would, I would like to see um, people's you kind know, of work from last week. Um, and those who haven't presented, again, this is not a competition of like was done, you know, what? It's just really being able to articulate your work because this is just your way of respecting your, your own time, right? So it's about you that you have attempted something and you want to, you know, it, yourself will be acknowledged through the process that you are saying, like, I have done that. You are shared, you're sharing the fruits, whatever achievement uh, that you have or whatever challenge that you have. And usually that really reinforces, you know, yourself for the next week to be able to do more because it's not hidden, you know, it's not like in, in the dark. So I want you, I really encourage you to be able to, you know, just put your hands and share from your report from anywhere you know in three minutes your your last week okay hopefully that's clear so let's start and who wants to tell just summarize in three minutes what they have done last week so Yabeba, we were you joined when we were sharing on the um, how did they find the week of the challenge for the previous week and how are they excited with for this week so no one has already presented yeah. but i guess yeah we can pick some of people who can present their work i guess this was um, a real project so we should yeah. be happy to see how uh, some trainees have handled it yeah yeah that's true thanks Let's see. You know, I, I know it's probably some of you might expected it. So you probably psychologically ready. Some of you haven't expected it. But as I say, it almost always, when you go to the meeting, just don't go to a meeting, really. If you haven't told what is the meeting about, what should I do? I mean, it's a, it's a, I'm not talking about, you know, come to the stand up, I absolutely come to any meeting, but you will be wasting your time, a lot of the time if you just join without active thinking. It's just just a small advice that would really change your life. For any meeting that you just think quickly while you are either in that meeting or before the meeting, you quickly think who I want to be. You know, it's like, because the meeting defines, okay, the meeting maybe is just like, I want to be passive, like, okay, I don't need to participate. That's fine, but at least you actively told that. Or, you would just say like, no, I want in this meeting to be this type of person, right? And and then, so take that opportunity. I mean, it's, you know, you are, we can only tell you what we know and then the rest is you. So, I mean, I know that it, it takes time and if I were in your side, I will be the same. So it's a difficult thing, but just small advices sometimes help. So hopefully, yes, yeah, so I'm sure like within a couple of minutes, I will, I will see more hands that would like to share. Not now. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's not a slide, like it's not a dashboard, but I've managed to somehow create uh, not quite play, uh, elegant, but uh, somehow a daily life in Gokada driver. And I just want to share that it's not you know, it's not like a presentation, but I just want to share that. Sure, go on. And let me share my screen. Can you see me? It's coming. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, I prepared this one and let me uh, refresh the page. So, 
like I have this is for one driver actually it's not for all uh, I prepared it just for one driver so I'll uh, just and when I just click next it will go for, for to the next uh, to the next trip so for example as you can see the on the initial to the to the to it, from the origin it, to, to one the, driver one driver multiple yeah it's for trips. yeah yeah okay. the a driver that has multiple trips the next is the next uh, trip okay yeah the next the next trip that uh that the accepted next trip uh it, it just uh, it, it goes just like this like i've managed to fetch all of the latitude and longitude for that particular driver and i just somehow uh, managed to do this like yeah i just want to share this one and uh, like it, this it is, has this, like, is, this is beautiful because what it is saying is that their starting position is the same somehow more or less yeah yeah, yeah the, it's more or less when let me just click click more like, to the yeah, exactly. to demonstrate what you said and as you can see it's like really the same area it's somehow congested in some of the same area that's what he was saying uh all yeah. it was seen he was actually saying yeah we know where the orders come in so he knows it the reason is most likely, of course, the business is order, like food is, I think he says something, 30%. And most restaurants probably that area. Given that uh, Adyat knows the area, does that, is that, does that surprise you, Adyat? Actually, let me zoom in. Can you zoom in? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can. Can you zoom in? Yeah, maybe. Zoom in. Yeah. Just so that you have to zoom in now, okay. No, it's not, uh, it's not food. It's not food, it's mostly commercial area. It's not commercial area like uh, banks and stuff. Commercial area, there are businesses, many businesses, uh, merchants actually around. So, people there, Instagram, IG pages, and people order. It's either that, that area or Ikeja area where there are phone shops and when people order phones and laptops and gadgets, they just mostly go riders are congested there, usually congested there to take it. There will be there's usually enough orders for them. Yeah, awesome. But this is beautiful. This is beautiful visualization. Well done. Okay, thank you. Nasnail Masrasha, next. Okay, uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, let me share screen. Yeah. You can see my screen, right? Hello? Yes, yes now we can see. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's a causal inference uh, project that's a delivery driver's location optimization. Uh, in the outline, we have a quick introduction and overview of the project. Then we'll look to the EDA. Uh, we'll see the methodology. Uh, there are two topics in the methodology and we'll talk about the challenge and takeaways. So a uh, quick introduction. Uh, simply put, we're doing is a causal, a causal inference. That will be determining the independent actual effect of a particular phenomenon or a particular feature on another feature or a target variable. So in our case, it could be the time, the location, the dates. So we wouldn't know what particular feature is affecting the fulfillment. So the project overview, uh, our client is Gokada and it's the largest last mile service in Nigeria. Uh, the problem it's facing is uh, inefficient positioning of drivers and the customers who want to use the service from the Kukada and we we'll work on the Gokada data to understand the primary cause of the unfulfilled requests. So let's start with the EDA. Uh, we'll start with the duration or time spent on the trip data, then go to the most trip or origin locations. Uh, 
uh, and visualize it on the map in some summary of accepted and rejected data so uh, here is what it looks like the duration the distribution of the duration time as you can see here the duration of time is concentrated between uh, 50 minutes in an hour so it's quite a valid uh, duration and next uh, these are the places I got from the latitude and the longitude data, uh, the origin locations. So I see ET, ET OSA is the most uh, location that customers ordered a delivery. And we can do the same for the delivery locations as well. And finally, uh, in the EDA part, we have summarized it's the accepted and rejected data by grouping, by altering some uh, features and grouping them. So, for example, for the order ID 392001, uh, one driver accepted it while nine rejected it. And the next one, one is accepted. It's the accepted is always one, but the rejected one counts might uh, might vary from one to many. So these are the summary. We have 2.3 percent of rejected and 97.7 of accepted. So. Let's go to the methodology of the causal inference. So the first thing to do while doing the causal inference is to convert to the appropriate data types. Uh, we, we have to remember that uh, the library causal next works only with numeric values and then extract the date, the month, the hour from the start date. Uh, we're doing the feature extraction in another way. And then we remove the features that will have no effect in our target value. For example, the driver ID or the order ID, those features have no effect in the fulfillment or the drivers uh, accepting or rejecting the request. So we'll remove those features. Next, we'll apply level encoding for the categorical features such as the holiday, the fulfilled, and the driver's action. Uh, so next, uh, we have, after doing all the previous steps, we left with the location data, that's the latitude and longitude, that looks like this. Uh, this is, uh, it's of course a numeric value, but it's not suitable for machines or for doing analysis. So we have to do some transformations here. So what these values are telling us is the, the values are telling us where the drivers or the request location is. So we only need the location, not the coordinate values. So what we can do here is we can apply clustering to group similar locations in one cluster. And a very good example or the very good library for that is the KNN. We can apply the K nearest neighbor algorithm to group uh, similar locations in one cluster. Uh, once it's done, uh, we can do the causal graph because we have all features in numeric. We have the categorical uh, labeled and uh, the locations in a cluster so we can go on and draw the causal graphs. Uh, this is a causal graph with a threshold of 0 0.8. Uh, let's see some dependencies of these uh, features. So weekend affects duration in minutes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, fulfillment affects duration in minutes, but that's not right. And from the causal graph, we should avoid that. So we need to add those edges in the table edge. Uh, the hour of the day affects the driver section. That's also right. And the month, let's see one more. The request location affects uh, distance difference. That's also right. We can use our intuition knowledge to remove and add some useful edges. And next, there's a Bayesian network. Uh, we, are, we will just query probabilities of some events given another event. So. A Bayesian network is a probabilistic graph model that represents a set of variables and their conditional dependencies. But there is one catch here. The Bayesian network works better with discrete data. So again, we have to make further adjustments and transformation to discretize our data. So let's take some features. For example, uh, we have the duration. Uh, I've discretized it in two groups. One is valid and the other is invalid. I'm saying valid if the duration time is greater than 10 minutes, uh, but if the duration is less than 10 minutes, I will categorize it under invalid. Uh, distance difference, uh, near and far, uh, less than one kilometer and greater than one kilometer. The time for months, early, mid, 
uh, meet and let uh, you get it you get the idea so we're just discretizing some features into groups so we'll have only a uh, numeric value with discrete values uh, then finally we can query probabilities probabilities and uh, do calculuses for example when i query the probability of a driver action i've got the following uh, results the accepted probabilities uh, 97.4 percent while the rejected one is uh, 2.5 percent so let's do some do calculus uh, by do calculus we, we're saying we know the probability of having some feature and let's say the result of having 100 percent of the feature on the other we, we're just comparing the effect of one feature on the other so uh, here i'm saying all the drivers are near and I'm giving a hundred percent of near probability and the far for for the far zero percent and let's see let's see the result of drivers being near so what I've gotten is uh, drivers will accept drivers will accept 97.6 percent of the time if all drivers were less than in a kilometer from the request but first as you can see it was only 97.4 I know it's not that much difference but you get the idea it's it's having some effect and that's all thank you excellent presentation uh, i like it so great um and but the examples just if we could uh make it like more at the last i think you, all determine the technology whatever you have done is good so but maybe just that the one kilometer, they may be like, you know, the data sampling, whatever might not be appropriate because you should see, uh, no, correct. So your data actually has almost, most of the data being accepted. So that, that's why actually you don't see a difference. But now if they gave us the data, had they given us the data, this, this would have been different. So actually, you know, it's not your case. Um, it's just the case of, um, you know, it's a case of actually the data. So good overall. Well done, Margaret. Thank you. Um, I hi. I just want to present one feature that I implemented. Yes, I think that's what I want. I mean, I, you know, thanks for like that. It, it's just I don't. I want you to speak. And, and that already is good and then yeah please tell us share what you've done okay um can you see my screen okay so for this part i tried to visualize the trips and the orders uh the aim was to help uh suggest to the driver where to be at a certain time and i used data shader and then i extracted a uh, date and time and then i plotted using data shader um, the frequency of orders on a 24-hour time scale and you can see most of the orders that from around 5 a.m 6 a.m and then they pick at around uh, midday and then they go down in the evening. But I noticed this is not one, three, four, five, six, one. What is it? It's the um the the I I'm, I'm not I'm not so sure honestly. Uh, I am it, not it, so sure. It seems to me the week. Yeah. That the week. Um. Yes, week. I think it's day off week. Yeah, it's, yeah because zero week. means either Sunday yeah, or Monday, yeah, and then seven. six means yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah. then if we see, you know, if you don't go, like, because okay. it's, you know, and the most important thing about a plot is to understand everything about the plot, not to just present it. So if yeah, if you had now the color is quite, you know, like I would have plotted it with a color that is not different like that. It would be from like, I would use something that is from, you know, bright to, uh, 
non bright so, so that i can get a certain pattern so i would change the color map to be it could be just green but with a shade right or it could be something with a shade not not different type of colors but okay great go on okay um so i then um let i then used a uh, folio to understand where most requests are and at what time and yeah this can help advise the driver where to wait and map the hotspots so we first uh, bring introduce the map and then extract day and time and then i did a count of the orders uh, for different locations and then i transferred this to a map uh, which gave me a heat map like this and if you zoom in you can be able to see where most of the hotspots are here 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 and is that is that now the order location or what what is that is that yeah the order locations and then we counted how many orders have been uh made on how many requests have been made on certain locations and then did a count so for this we can add markers on every place we see is a hotspot and then um and then move the markers okay there like this so you can like add a marker there here here and then basically at the end of the goal of this adding markers is such that we can be able to save the markers as maybe a csv with the location and maybe extract um but, but instead of, of you adding markers you can also compute the density and then just the peak oh, yeah. density you can actually just extract that yeah okay that's a good good idea thank you and then so this was just uh the the one without um uh, it doesn't have a time factor so if we introduce a time factor uh we get to have an animation like this this um sorry uh Okay, um, let's just do it there. So this one shows the frequency of orders on a 24 hour time scale. And it also shows the intensity where most of the orders are. So you can see the red at a certain time of day or hour um, is the, yeah, I think it's self-explanatory uh yeah that's that's all i have to share that was amazing well done i think i like your concept of density and and because that would extract and also it allows earlier we were about to mislead right is doing that but now we can see it's not of course just there it was for that one driver that was the case but it seems you know just when you do it in the density the data shader is exactly that when you look at it in a statistical way that is not true so that's interesting it's very very good well done i like i like the video that you created as well so wonderful At least I want one person to tell me why they are not talking. Just make me understand. Why are we not seeing, why are we not running out of time? Because there were so many hands. You know, just, just out of curiosity. You will be on my side, so you know. You just have to help me now so that 
you, you can be mean next time you know, when you are the one who are asking and people are not answering you can tell them like at least i i did that why don't you do that you know right now you will not have an excuse to do that you just why is it not people's putting hands to speak about their work I mean, Fisa, you could talk about that as well, right? You could just say that, okay, I have tried this, but I didn't, blah, blah. You know, speaking is nothing more than, surely it would be nice to speak about your beautiful plots, how much it was amazing, but that's not the whole story. Stories are, I want stories. I don't want only successful stories. But thanks for sharing, at least. Michael. Michael. Michael, if you are able, you can speak. I mean, is there a problem? I think today's especially quite and especially unresponsive. Maybe the challenge was a bit tougher. No, I think I don't know. it was it, even that. I mean, we, we are speaking, you are speaking, you are unmuting. Who are willing to unmute and to speak on behalf of them so they are not representing i mean i i, I don't know maybe my yeah i mean i i want other people just i'm gonna call randomly people just and then whatever your opinion whether why is it the case um but Alu, why is it the case why do you think today is very special why are no people speaking? <coughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why there isn't behind uh, it. Maybe the rest uh, days. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, my, I'm gonna have to say something regarding my side. Uh, on Sunday, uh, I was a little bit busy on family issue in order to submit the projects, but I tried to finalize my work on uh, now Friday and Saturday, especially on uh, the submission part on uh, the saturday but uh, the final submission was not that much successful on my side since i was busy uh, we know sunday it's a family day so that's why i'm not uh, a volunteer to present my work but uh, the saturday submission i can present that one uh, i don't know why people are silent uh, and uh, i was also doing the tasks regarding to the uh, CV as well as the Tina Kremi profile and thanks to Fissa for that He's, he was correcting me I just I am doing that task on the original file but uh, I was missing something regarding to that uh, just the work should be done on the copy file and uh, thanks for fish for that task but the rest of the task I was successful on doing the EDA party and understanding the data uh, but uh, I was not successful on the final submission that's what uh, i i'm keep silent but why do you get silent i mean I, let, let me understand because i didn't ask a successful project to be presented i mean i mean I, i'm not greeting you i'm gonna ask i'm gonna greet other people as well i mean mm. let's not talk now about presentation because i will ask you if you want presentation you would you know tomorrow we can also talk but i just want to understand what would what's i mean it may not be just it's not a problem it's just it's, that's how life is but is there anything i could have said or i could have done or we could have done from the ten academy side as well that would make it so interactive this session 
I think uh, th there is no, uh, any issue regarding to the Tien Academy side. What would have, what would have, you know, it's like, yeah, what would have triggered you, like, to raise your hand? So imagine you are me, and then you want to trigger <laughs> you to, to raise your hand. What would you have said? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure that I got into that. So that means it's life is like that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Bakalu. Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick, what's your opinion? Why do people get silent? And why do you get silent? And what could you have said to make yourself raise your hand and speak? Patrick, can you speak? Okay. Tabarak, why didn't you speak? And what could I, you have said to yourself um, so that you could just raise your hand and say whatever you have done? Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Uh, so actually, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm doing some errands, so I can access my laptop right now. So that's why. Yeah. But uh, is there anything I could, I I could have said that could normally just trigger? Like, you know, like, just think of you are now leading this session and you want so many participations that people to raise your hand, uh, their hand and speak about the story of last week. Not, not a successful story, but a story about what they have done. You know some of the challenge some of the success show a few plots or maybe a quote you know just you want that like a very light approach to it what would you have done what would you have said to them um i don't think there is any problem from the team um but i think that um everyone puts their um hard work into the project but um sometimes we miss the deadlines and um, it might not turn out as we want it to, so I think that might be the reason that, um, well, for me, that's the reason why I don't normally, like, participate because uh, it doesn't, like, uh, most of the time I uh, struggle with um, meeting the deadlines and submitting what we are supposed to do, so... I think thanks. that's the reason. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for the feedback. I mean, I, you know, again, I understand uh, it is that probably like, but I mean, maybe does it help if I call just randomly names like that for people to present? Um, I don't think it does. I think um, maybe, maybe, but, you know. but I think free will is better than calling out names because uh, some people might be in a, in a situation where they might not um, have the opportunity to talk or in, there might be an environment they cannot talk. So I think a free will must be like but, the first know, choice. But well, my problem <laughs> about free will be, is becoming that I am only learning about free will. No, it's the usual people I learn from them. I'm not learning from others. So this is a way of learning about people's work. I mean, people's ability to explain. And it's also really a value. It's not about me. It's about like, do you value your work? I can only hire you if you take responsibility, accountability to your work, right? So that means even when it's not good, that you can tell it, you can say it, right? And that valuation to yourself sometimes has this bigger impact about you it says a lot about you then uh, if you just you know if you just don't speak about it because you know you can sometimes a, a lot of scientists spend three years of their life and they basically their work doesn't come and but how they take how they approach it is the most important element of it it's sometimes it's not just you know so it's not that just only it's process but it's important in that and how you then respond and the kind of you know, confident enough 
to even say that, right? So because that's that's the actual one. So, but I am learning only from fewer people. Fewer people are speaking, but we all need to graduate. We all want to end up in the same place. I absolutely understand the ups and downs um, and the frustrations and different skill gaps available. But but when you say it, you know, now you spoke, right? So when you spoke, I'm sure you felt okay. Like you felt you contributed something. You're no more just, you come in and you went, you participated. Don't you feel there is a difference in that? What do you think? Oh, sorry. I thought I was. Um, I think I was on mute. Ah, uh, yeah, we were on mute. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a difference. So, I think that's what most most of us, um, maybe in my case, I struggle with. Like, um, even though I, uh, I didn't finish all the tasks, I think, uh, like, uh, I, uh, presenting what I have done. Uh, might be better so yeah no, absolutely I, I i guess so i think you know just let, let's try to you know pull each other in such a way that we speak at least even once in a week that is belonging us those who doesn't speak and only maybe i would they would struggle the next week because they don't be they don't feel that you know life is practice it's not it's not just achievement but thank you thank you again for your feedback and honesty thanks um Adiyat? um I'm, I'm just going to i'm going to talk for myself i'm going to say for myself i don't know about others so on my hand it, it was the presentation part um, so usually most of the time I have to finish up the report and stop around uh, just about time. Yeah, I might like uh, leave three hours for the report so that I can just grab the things that I worked on and put it in the before the deadline. So the next day is usually an half day. So the time to make a presentation and usually even today I was like, okay, I'm going to prepare a presentation, but I couldn't. And then when you asked for it, I, I don't know, I have nothing to present. I, I hope if the get go again, I'm talking about myself, if the get go is or was uh, like if we can present a notebook, if it's not like a okay, case because I don't have I, I didn't have time to pre have a presentation. I could can simply present a notebook because in the uh, incorporating a presentation into a day will be like on Sunday when we are supposed to be resting or early morning of the of the stand up. So I, I hope it's okay if uh, it just feel if if. Presenting my notebook doesn't feel, it feels like uh, an half work done, right? Like, okay, I, I didn't get to actually make a proper presentation. If it's okay from the get-go, like it's okay to present your notebooks and the, thing, and the stuff you've done and just explain through it, then I think I'll be fine with that. Yep. I think it's I'm I'm trying I'm remembering one case actually you know I'm also evaluating myself in a certain situations I don't speak right and and you are right if you don't if you don't have anything content in your head you don't want to speak right now I'm just while you are saying that what I'm thinking is that we should maybe introduce Friday also another speaking one but the summary speaking then now it's not a finished work but an unfinished work now if you had spoken and everyone should speak now at least one minute like basically they they have to just summarize what they have done and then they would speak that on monday 
basically uh, as part of three minutes or something like that because it's you are absolutely right it's that preparation in your head i know I, what i'm missing sometimes that i can speak anything right i can just talk because i'm you know i feel my confidence and i'm expecting you guys to do the same but let's build let's find a strategy all i know is that it's a strategy and it is it is like the perception of where you are are you a guest or are you a host right i'm a host so i have to speak now if i am talking to any one of you individually you would have spoken but now you are not speaking because you are now behind you know something that it whatever i say will not direct it's not just about you only it's about everyone else so you can deflect it right so there is this sense of like first not having a content um, you know or a fully established content second is of course that okay if you don't speak it's it's fine other people could speak and there's this waiting phenomena and that one in psychology there is actually one hello yeah hello i am just searching for this website so just give me i'm, I'm bringing it here okay So I shared that one. So this is one that in psychology is a very known phenomena that it was the murder of Kitty Genovese. And it was basically so many people saw it, but no one reported. And the phenomena was studied and attributed to be that it's because people thought other people would report, right? And, and and so that's especially in the digital world that's really the case so let's find a way i want you to come so we will we will form a task force basically that will discuss this and come up with a strategy okay so okay. can you nominate three people who could just form a task committee who would just come up with a strategy for this batch as well as next batch what should we do in such a way that people feel it's directed to them and they get active in the stand up at least on Monday to be able to speak and so that we can increase. So, you know, what is our data driven strategy? Should be. So, can you nominate in the text just three people? Um, but this is for the whole team, not just for our yet. Uh, I will actually like volunteers. <laughs> oh, you want to volunteer. So, great. One is at yet. And then others okay thanks thanks Arya, for the, the suggestion and uh, feedback so michael are you able to speak now michael if you are able you can unmute and speak we can't hear you unfortunately yeah. hello Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I was just having a microphone issue and some connection problems. Uh, if you have insisted to see some work that uh, have been completed, or I, I'm, I'm I'm quite sure that I have uh, completed uh, like uh, over seventy percent of the works uh, last week, uh, and I've. Uh, I have been trying to prepare some slide, which is not ready right now, but I can just go through some notebooks and uh, share my uh, work last week. So, so, sorry, again, like I, I missed the last part. Yeah, uh, I was asking uh, that if I could share some notebooks, in fact, that my slides are not ready for presentation yeah. yeah sure i think let's do it tomorrow because i'm 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 uh, now i'm in the other mode where like i want to figure out like why people are not speaking in the first place um, and so but i will yeah let's because this is um 
the case that we want to select also people to present so i would want to see people's work in three minutes so i would also arrange today or tomorrow like uh, another time for you guys to at least present if you have anything to speak so i will i will call that but just right now i'm much more interested to, to know what could we do you know to be able to change the mindset you know this is a mindset and it's a mindset it's not a problem i think as the barak and that yet it's all said it's most likely it's nothing got to do with a problem from our side or from your side it's a mindset thing and it is the same mindset affects me and affects you so but then we want to change it all we know is that we want to change it so what could we do so one of the thing i think from the previous conversations we will select so you can nominate yourself at yet nominated one you can nominate yourselves or another person to just come up with a strategy how could we increase because what i want to see is that so many people put a hand that i would struggle to select but that's not happening even if everyone has put the really time and effort to work as you just said you have completed 70 percent i mean why didn't you be the first person to raise your hand what could we do to change that you know uh, as the barak said it's not an issue as again the kalu said it's really he has something done it's not again the lack of not doing sometimes okay yes maybe not completed because he didn't have sunday to complete but he has something he could have spoken but it was not he was not able to raise his your, his hand you know none a few people raised their hands and usually only a few people raise their hands and those few people are usually repeatedly the same which is good for them and which is good for me that i know their work but i want to know more work you know and so you know what what is going on like what, how can we help i mean you know as we said it's not a problem so it's not about solving the problem but changing a culture and a mindset for this one as well as for the next one is it do you have any comment around that what it could be yeah it's uh, pretty much like uh, what uh, arjat and tabarak have mentioned earlier but uh, you had also uh, tried to talk about the syndrome uh, or, or uh, the as a case with the murder of katie i think uh, having uh, completed 60 or 70 percent or somehow 80 percent uh, you you might not raise your hand first because you are thinking like is there anyone that surpassed me or is there anyone that uh, have tried to complete it uh, more since uh, you won't have somehow uh, you won't have somehow the uh, confidence to present unfulfilled work uh, and if uh, if uh, we can do some uh, in the, uh, some uh, psychological manipulations that like uh, uh, present what you have done or present what you have achieved not complete work we don't need any complete work uh, that might help yeah. i'm not yeah, uh, let, let, sure, let's put a strategy this, this so is a real you... problem and might need a, a real investigation and yeah so I can... would, would you would you like to volunteer or nominate yeah yeah i can volunteer Great, we have two. So, Fisa, do you have um... Yeah, so uh, about the thing you said, I think more or less it's more about the understanding because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to talk about the whole group first and I'm going to share my reason for not presenting today. So the main thing I think is the reason for people not participating in these uh, presentations is the misunderstanding of whether or not we are supposed to present a fully functional, fully uh, completed project. In which case you just mentioned that that's not the case, right? You just wanted to hear stories and you wanted us to start talking and communicating in these meetings in order for us to gain the confidence and skills that are necessary in the real world, right? So one thing- uh, Not only that, not only that, when someone speaks, no, yeah. not only that when someone speaks they belong it they belong to it because they have yeah it, they have passed a they actually identified they engaged. It, yeah. Yeah. engagement means belongingness right so and but then it's not a problem but it's just that 
a mindset like that we needed yeah okay yeah. Go on. exactly so that's the first point as misunderstanding which leads me to my second point is from our side you personally uh i, I don't want to say personally but it i also uh I also think like this, but from our side, there is this competitive age. I think when somebody presents something that's really good, some of us might think like we have not, we're not there yet. So as I said, it's part of the misunderstanding in which case we really think we have to do a fully functional thing. But even if we understand that we don't need to present a fully functional project, we have this, you know, this, uh, maybe uh, this is not good enough or something like that. So that's my second point. And the third point is basically like uh, confidence. Maybe people have finished at least 50, 60, 70% and yet they don't think that is really full enough or maybe they just are not able to uh, put it out there. So that's my third point, it's confidence. And my last point and my uh, personal excuse, I don't want to say excuse, but reason for not sharing today is having really nothing to share. Maybe people didn't do that that week. Maybe they didn't actually perform anything or something like that, you know? So in that case- It, it, it is okay for me. Something. It is okay for me. Some people who normally speak, they don't speak, it's okay. I just feel over time now, there are only few people who are speaking and then those people other people are not feeling that it's directed to them as well so i that's why i am much more like it's okay i mean i think tabarak really puts it it's not a problem it's just it's a type of feeling and preparation and then over time when you don't speak when and i know about myself i'm not speaking even about you i'm speaking about myself in the meetings i don't speak i will not speak it's like it's it's just a phenomena that if you are not in you are not in you know it's like or a bus that is not full will not be full kind of it's a, you know the very known psychological phenomena that the someone puts you like you start speaking even by mistake then you continue speaking right so that phenomena we need to drive strategy to help us bring all especially across weeks you know we are coming we are putting all the effort we're doing everything that's amazing right now we just don't want to you know like why why are we not just benefiting from that effort and from that you know continuous it's also a reaffirmation to ourselves value to its every time that it has given last week it obeyed for some of you your body your physical you know kind of whatever your psychology obeyed you to do even if it wants to go out and you know rest but for some, for most of you, it probably obeyed and sit down and tried, and respect it. It's that respect to that self, in such a way that you, you know, you you help you help it narrate its narration, its story. That's how I see it sometimes, and then so it's a type of strategy. So that's why I'm much more, um, you know, let's let's find because this, you know, a way to to kind of come up with the strategies ourselves because we know ourselves. So let's do that. So. I'm just asking, Tabarak, are you also going to be, do you want to volunteer? And Fisaha, do you want to volunteer? So that it can be four people on on coming, you know, you guys then meet, discuss what could it be. It could be like you could talk to other team, uh, you know, colleagues and come up with a strategy. Will you be willing, Fisa, to volunteer? Yes, definitely. Okay. And to Barak? Okay, so even if the Barak was not uh, here, so can we ask any other? Um, so, Tegisti, do you are you able to speak? in any way and would you be able to volunteer yeah we can hear you i think this is gone okay. uh, 
It is slightly breaking. Is that for me only or slightly breaking, but it's gone? It's my vehicle stability and my shoulder. Yeah, I, I think it, it's, yeah, but maybe type it just uh, because I think it's breaking and then the background is more louder. Okay, but it, would you be willing to talk to Adia, Michael and Fasaha? to also be part of just finding what is the reason you know what it could be and then come up with certain strategy So hopefully it is yes. Um, so basically, Adiat, Michael, and Fasan Tigusti, please just meet and talk about, you know, what could it be? How could it help? You know, what kind of strategy we could adopt? If you have to speak, ask some opinions from other colleagues, and just let's have an opinion for, you know, next week. First, first proposal maybe next week um, Monday so that we can use it and then we can continue okay great thanks guys I think you know we we know that this is just a way of uh, you know, let's just find a way Everest yeah, thanks, everybody. So I guess the next session is going to be the introduction to challenge. I'm going to yes. arrange this. I guess we are out of yeah. time. Yeah. So we give so, a break. And, like, yes, 10 minutes, let's give 10, 10 minutes, minutes break. Yeah, 10 minutes break, and then we will start at uh, basically at 40. Yeah. In 10 minutes. In, in 12 minutes, basically, in my time. But at 40. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yes. Someone from Ten Academy can cross the recording. We can rejoin back, I guess. You can also close the meeting, then let's save our internet. <laughs>